everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Tamlin and this is Sewn on the Tine. Here I am on Monday morning. Is it still morning? Yeah, it's 11.30. It's the start of a new week. It's the 27th of April. <laughs> and I thought I'd just check in with you because the last time I saw you, I had just finished making two pairs of Hudson pants for Sam. So that was my last video and people seem to have really enjoyed that video which is great. I know it was a long one, longer than any of my other videos and I don't really mean to make my videos that long but I guess it was quite detailed and it just ended up being that way. So what have I been up to this weekend? We, oh, we had a little barbecue on Saturday, just Sam and I obviously. Um, we'd ordered some things in our online food shop so we could have a little barbecue in the sunshine so that was lovely. We've watched some TV. <laughs> We've obsessively been watching Ozark which is an American drama series on Netflix and it's really really good. It's about money laundering and a drug cartel but it's really fantastic. So we finished season two last night and there's one more season of that to watch. So yeah we've been watching quite a bit of that. Um, I've been reading a lot as usual. <laughs> I've read 20 books since the start of March, which is a lot. Um, yeah, I've been reading a lot. If anybody is interested in what I've been reading, I have an account on Goodreads and I will leave a link down below to my Goodreads account and you can just go on there and see what books I've been reading. And I always give them a star rating at the end when I finish reading it, so I'll give them stars out of five. I don't tend to write a review as well but um, yeah you'll be able to see my star ratings and you'll be able to see if there's anything that you might fancy reading. I'm halfway through a new book as well so I'm just I'm loving having the time to dedicate to that and I don't know once baby comes along how much time I'll be able to spend reading so I'll either be feeding or hopefully sleeping. <laughs> So yeah, I'm getting it all in while I can. Today I'm wearing my Megan Nielsen Cara top in this beautiful cotton jersey from Material Girl Laura. This weekend I haven't done any sewing for myself. I sewed for the baby. I've made this gorgeous little jumper and a matching pair of trousers. And this is, oh, the pattern that I was going to show you is underneath the camera. One moment. So this is the Cordoba pattern by, oh God, I never know how to say this brand. Ikate, Ikate. Ikate sounds good, doesn't it? We'll go with that, Ikate. And it's a little jumper and trouser set for one month up to four years and it was really really easy to make really easy to put together i traced off the size one month so i assume that means like up to one month but it does seem quite big they seem quite roomy i think well we don't know what size our baby's going to be yet but um i think they'll fit in beyond one month unless we have a big a big baby <laughs> I just thought that was so cute and obviously if you watch my Hudson Pants tutorial so long type video you'll recognise that fabric as the fabric I made Sam's Hudson Pants in so they're going to be matching and I've still got quite a bit of that left so I could make other sizes for baby either the same garments or other patterns so yeah I love those that's what I achieved this weekend <laughs> we also painted so we've got this wall and this wall both painted now, one second. Come on then, Trouble. Are you coming in? Yeah, Sam's working from home. He's upstairs, but he's on a conference call meeting at the minute, so I don't think he wants to hear me <laughs> wittering on. Well, Ziggy, I can't reach you down there, darling. If you want tummy tickles, you have to come up here. <laughs> She's just lay down on her back and rolled over as if to demand tummy tickles but I can't because you're down there and I'm up here. So what else did I want to say? Today what are my plans? I've been doing some work this morning actually. I've done a couple of hours 
of schoolwork because I am still working from home. So I've been doing that and a little bit of housework. So this afternoon I may nap, <laughs> we'll see how that goes. But I also wanted to cut out a paper pattern. It's the Lisseron shirt by Atelier Scamet for my next Felicity Fabrics blog post. I've been really putting off cutting it out because they don't use finished garment measurements and I really rely on finished garment measurements to choose my size for a pattern, especially at the minute while my body's so different to how it is usually. I really want those finished garment measurements as reassurance that I'm making the right size. So they don't have them. I've been on their website and everything. So I'm just gonna have to be brave and go for it, I think. Yeah, I don't know why they wouldn't give you finished garment measurements. I find that a bit strange, but never mind. So I'm just gonna go for it today. I'm gonna measure myself again because the last time I took my measurements was the 7th of April. So I'm sure they're probably different again. And I'm going to pick my size and go for it. Then I'll cut out the fabric today as well. It's going to be a denim shirt, which will be lovely. So I'll get that cut out. And I also want to cut out a couple of named clothing Rita shirt dresses. I've got the paper pattern all put together. I did that last week and cut out. I just need to cut out the fabric, but I was waiting for the iron to arrive because if you watch my last video, you'll know my iron was broken. Sam ordered me a lovely new one. Let's show you which one he got. It looks wonderful. I'm very excited. It's a Tefal Ultimate. It looks fab. So I'm going to get that on the go today. And I can iron my fabric and then I can cut out my two named Rita dresses as well. That's probably enough for today to get on with. So cut out my Lisseron shirt, paper pattern and the fabric, and then cut out two named clothing Rita shirt dresses. It's almost the end of the month. It's almost the end of April. I'm really resisting buying any more fabric. I'm trying really hard because it's just so tempting all the time. On Instagram, I follow all the different online fabric shops. And it's really hard to resist temptation. It really is. But no, I'm resisting. I did buy a pattern yesterday. I was seduced by <laughs> a pattern. It only cost £5.85, so it's not really very expensive. But if you follow the fold line, and if you get their newsletters, or if you read their sew reporter that comes out every Sunday, they always give some new patterns that have been put onto their website. And there was one which is a unisex t-shirt to be made in stretch fabric. And I just really, really liked it. It's got really unusual style lines. It's got, the front is constructed out of three or four different pieces, I think. So it's good for using up different fabrics and maybe leftovers of fabric that you've got from other projects. And yeah, it can be made for men and women. So I picked that up. The fold line at the minute until the end of May have got or might not be the end of May. I'll leave the details down below, but they've got a 10% off all of their patterns discount code with the code sew together. So I'll leave that down below and I'll find out when it expires. So this pattern should have been £6.50 and it was £5.85 PDF. So I've just printed it out this morning as well, but I think I'll ignore that one until I've done the other things I said I was going to get done today. So I'm going to go and have some brunch with Sam when he comes out of his meeting. We're having eggs, avocado, tomatoes, and bread that Sam baked yesterday. So that's very exciting. I'll have that and then I'll make a start on the Lisseron shirt and I'll come back to you in a little while. Bye. <laughs> Hi everyone, it is Tuesday now, <laughs> welcome back. I thought I'd just check in with you quickly. It is actually nearly half past six in the evening and I just thought I'd check in and let you know what I've been up to. So I didn't sleep very well last night. I think that it maybe just comes with being in my third trimester. But yeah, I had quite a disturbed night's sleep and then my body clock automatically wakes me up around 6.15, 6.30 on a morning 
and that's it. So I started reading a new book and actually that book I'm up to page 375 already. I mean, by the time you watch this, I'll have finished it. I'll probably finish it this evening, but it's The Cows by Dawn O'Porter and it's absolutely fantastic. I'm really enjoying it. So yeah, I was reading that this morning. I like to have some biscuits in bed and a cup of tea. And then I got up and aimed to have a productive day. Now, I'm not going to say I haven't had a productive day because I put four things on my to-do list for today and I've just highlighted the last one off. So therefore, that is a productive day in my eyes. Yeah, I've got a few things done. I managed to get some work done for school, dealt with a few things for that. Um, I sent a couple of emails I needed to, filmed a video. So I've just filmed an unboxing video for the Guthrie and Garney Sewing Society box, which I got for the first time this month. And I've just filmed the unboxing video for that. So that might even be up by the time you watch this. I've cut out a pattern. So I know yesterday I was talking about what I wanted to do and I wanted to cut out my Lisseron shirt by Atelier Scammett. And I wanted to cut out two Rita shirt dresses. I didn't do any of those yesterday. I did a few other things, but I didn't do any of those. <laughs> so I've just cut out my paper pattern for the Lisseron. Now this is the Lisseron shirt. I know I was talking about feeling a bit stressed by the fact that they don't have finished garment measurements. So I took my measurements again and they brought me out in between a size 16 and 18. Now it's a denim shirt, it's got no darts, so it's supposed to be sort of loose fitting. And I'm thinking that I'll probably wear it open over a vest top or obviously after the baby and when I don't have this big bump anymore, I'll probably wear it tucked in. So I decided to go for the size 16, even though the bust on a size 16, it says 40.5 and my bust is currently 41. And then the hip says 42.9 inches and mine, come on then, is currently 46.5. But I don't think that I would wear it buttoned up all the way down, <laughs> that's Ziggy all the way down to the bottom. I think I would tuck it in or tie it in a knot or wear it open. So I opted for the 16. I didn't want it to be too big. So I've just cut out the paper pattern and I cut straight into the paper pattern because I don't intend on making a bigger size. If I was making, if I was cutting out a size 10, I would have traced it. So then I had the bigger size options available, but that's the biggest size that I intend on cutting out. So I cut straight into the paper pattern, but four of the pieces were overlapped on other pieces. And I guess that's for them to save paper. So all of the pieces for this shirt came on one A0 sheet. So four of the pieces, like the smaller pieces, the collar stand, the wrist flounce, the collar flounce, and one of the interfacing pieces. They, oh Ziggy, your nose is so wet. <laughs> yeah, they all came on, um, overlapped on some of the bigger pieces, so I've just had to trace those off. But they're all cut out now. Just on saying about Ziggy's wet nose, when she was little, when she was just a kitty, we got them when they were... How old were you, Ziggs, when we got you? Well, they, they approximated that they'd been born in the September. September the 9th is their approximate birthday and we got them at the very start of November so about six to seven weeks old when we got them just jump down now and Ziggy for the first few weeks to months of us having her always had a dry nose like it was always scabby and it looked sore and yeah not very nice for it but since then She's just got the most gorgeous little moist nose and I love it. <laughs> I know that sounds really odd, but I do. It's gorgeous and pink and lovely. Oh, there she is. Found herself a little spot on my Guthrie and Garney Sewing Society box that I've just done the unboxing video for. So yes, I've cut out my shirt. I need to cut out the fabric, but that may wait until tomorrow unless I go and do it now. Could go and do that now. 
I'm thinking I want to watch The Great British Sewing Bee first episode again before the new episode comes out tomorrow. So I could go and put that on and cut out this fabric because Sam is currently making us a chicken curry in the kitchen. It smells amazing. So he could carry on with that and listen to a podcast I think he's doing. And I could go and watch The Sewing Bee again and cut out this fabric. I think that's a good plan. So I think I'll leave it there. I will come back to you tomorrow and let you know how I got on with that. And I'll aim to cut out my Rita shirt dresses tomorrow as well. Oh, I'll just show you this fabric very quickly. So Sister Mintaka put loads of remnant fabrics onto her website the other day and I just fell in love with this one. It's just a cotton, it's one of the Ruby Star Society cottons. But I'm just going to make a little romper for the baby out of this because it's just so cute with little fried eggs all over it. <laughs> just wanted to show you that. There we go. Oh, and I got this one as well because if you watch this channel often, you will know that anything space themed is a winner with me and the baby's nursery is going to be space themed. So I'm going to make a puff quilt from the Stitch Sisters online classes. It's free. So you could go and do that too. And I'm going to make it in space themed. So I've got a few different space themed cottons and then I picked up this one to go with it. So I'm going to make it a gorgeous little puff quilt. Right, I'm going to go and cut out this pattern and watch last week's sewing bee. So I'll catch up with you all tomorrow. Hi everyone, welcome back. It is Wednesday now, Wednesday afternoon. Today I feel it's going really slowly and I think it's because I'm counting down to this evening when the Great British Sewing Bee second episode is on. It's 3pm. I've been awake since 5.45 this morning, which is not great. But I haven't had a nap this afternoon. I've just been busy, busy. I've done quite a lot of work this morning for school and I've been sewing. <laughs> so I'm working on my blog project for Felicity Fabrics which is the Atelier Scamet Lisseron shirt and I'm really enjoying making it. I'm making it out of this beautiful, it's like a lightweight denim. On their website it's described as a denim but I don't know if it's a chambray or not, it's just it's really lightweight. You can see sort of how movable and scrunchy it is and it's got polka dots all over. So I'm working on this at the minute. I got it cut out last night while I rewatched the first episode of Great British Sewing Bee. I'm, I'm doing quite well today. I've got the front, this is going to look like nothing, but the front and the back constructed. So I've got button placket and top stitching done on the left and the right. I've got the yoke constructed, the back yoke there, which was done with the burrito method. I've got little pleating detail at the back here and we've just joined up the side seams with French seams so that's looking lovely so I'm doing really well so it's moving on to the collar next so in terms of Atelier Scamet they're quite a new pattern company as far as I know or at least they're new to me <laughs> and new to Felicity Fabrics a few weeks ago they are a French pattern company. Their instructions are in French and English. And what's really great is, well, some of the steps are a little bit confusing. There are photos, but they're a little bit confusing. But what's great is they have a video that goes along with each pattern. So I've got on my laptop the video open and I've got the subtitles on in English because the video is in French but it's really, really clear. I'm not reading the words, I'm just looking at what she's doing and it's really, really clear. So there's been maybe two or three steps so far where I've thought, hmm, I'm not entirely sure what those instructions mean. I probably could figure it out if I took a bit more time, but because the video is there, I may as well just head over and watch the video. Yeah, I've been doing that, it's been really useful. And the next step is going to be the collar. So I'm going to do, you might not be able to see, but it's like a, frilly collar detail. I'm doing that version so that's what I'm going to be doing next. So I'll probably go and do that and then get back to you just to, so I'm just laughing at my appearance because 
I washed my hair this morning and it's just on top of my head. Joy on Instagram, who is Pink Coat Club, she started a hashtag ages ago, I think it was her anyway, called the getting stuff done bun or getting things done bun, where basically you've got stuff to do. So you just shove your hair in a bun on the top of your head. And that's what I've done today. And I'm wearing, come on then. She's been asleep in a basket, come on. But you know I'm talking to the camera, don't you? So you want to come and say hi. I'm wearing Sam's jumper, which I've clearly just claimed for myself because I absolutely love it. It's so cozy. Right, so I'll come back to you once I've made some progress on the collar. Hi, I just wanted to come back on and show you my collar. So it's looking so cute. Here we go. You see like the ruffled edge? It's just really cute. Really love it. So that was just done with like a long rectangle, folded wrong sides together, and then gathering stitches sewed into the raw edge side, and then gathered up and stitched onto the collar. And then the other side of the collar was stitched on, all like right sides together, and then turned out. It just looks so cute. So it's going to look really lovely when that is on. No, how will it go? Something like that. Yeah, it's gonna look really cute. <laughs> so I'll go and carry on. I just wanted to show you my collar. Hi, I'm back. Um, <laughs> I'll get more and more dishevelled as the day goes on. <laughs> um, I just wanted to show you where I'm up to with my shirt because I'm going to leave it here for this evening. It is quarter past seven and we're going to go down and have some dinner before the sewing bee starts later. So excited. So, here we go. So there's no sleeves yet. I haven't done anything with the sleeves, but the whole of the main body of the shirt is constructed. We've got our lovely frill detail collar and then well I've top stitched half of this collar down you can see there and then I've put in a label which says holy stitch I made this. The labels are by Paige Joanna. I'll link her Instagram down below. She brought out a set of two different designs and I just love them. They're really cute. So I will link to her Instagram and you can go and check them out for yourself. I've still got a top stitch this other side. I might actually do that quickly before, <laughs> before I go down for dinner. That would make sense, wouldn't it? Rather than leaving that half done. And then tomorrow it's just sleeves. So yeah, I just wanted to say goodnight really because I think I'm going to round up this video here and we'll put this video out tomorrow hopefully and then tomorrow's snippets will go into a new video so thank you all for watching i hope you've enjoyed what i've been up to so far this week and i'll see you again in my next video happy sewing bye so i'm really pleased with my progress oh my knuckle just cracked then <laughs>